This is Tony with Tony 10 Speed, and this is my brief but spectacular look at free wheels. How do free wheels differ from the free hub and cassette systems we have today? Where do we find free wheels? If, what kind of problems can we run into, and how can we solve them? That's what we're going to look at now. We can recognize the free hub system by the fact that it has a lock ring on the top that's notched. We can remove that. And remove the entire cassette, which is, we can see, is fairly light, easy to replace. And the ratchet system is located in the hub itself which operates these days much more efficiently than the free wheel, is lighter, and gives better performance. On the other hand, the free wheel has no lock ring with grooves to remove, but rather deep down, if we were able to look inside here, we see these grooves running vertically all the way around. Some free wheels will have notches in them, two or four. Depends on the free wheel itself as to the type of removal tool. In this case the notches are down inside. We can use a Shimano removal tool. This is going to look easy because we've had this off before and you would using your wrench and quite a bit more force than what we showed here. You go ahead and unscrew the free wheel. Once we've loosened up the free wheel, we should be able to just lift it off of the hub itself. The if you want more information on removing free wheels, they can be really difficult to remove. We do have a reference in the upper right hand corner. The Free wheel tend to be a lot heavier because it contains the ratchet mechanism within the free wheel itself. Uh, one nice thing is that the spindle it attached to was uniform among the hubs, so you can easily exchange one free wheel for another. The free wheel was largely replaced by the free hub in around the 1980s because of two factors. One, the free hub and cassette tend to be lighter and performed very well. However, we still see free wheels on lower end bicycles and in some countries that's all we find are the free wheels. And free wheels can run into problems and we're going to emphasize a couple of those so you can recognize them if you ever have to work or have a problem with a free wheel. Free wheels normally make noise when coasting. If this noise becomes very loud, maybe indication that the grease in the free wheel itself has either gunked up or dried up or been washed out by the rain or riding through puddles. There are some simple fixes without taking apart the free wheel as shown in the video in the upper right hand corner. A clicking sound while pedaling may indicate the pawns and springs part of the ratchet mechanism inside the free wheel are gunked up and may require cleaning. The same is true if you notice some sluggishness in pedaling. Again, there may be gunk inside the uh, free wheel that require some cleaning. You can check on this by pedaling backwards and if you notice as you pedal backwards that the rear wheel turns again may indicate cleaning of the free wheels necessary and there's a nice video in the right hand corner that suggests a method for helping to clean this out and re-lubricate it. 
when pedaling you hear a clunking or clanking sound that's present while you're pedaling but not while you're coasting it's probably a broken ratchet system inside the freewheel suggesting replacement if you hear it both pedaling and coasting take a look at the hub itself and the bearings for possible problems if you've ever dealt with freewheels or have had problems with the freewheels please comment below subscribe to keep up with our latest videos this is tony of tony 10 speed safe cycling